Right, guys. So in this build, we are going to be playing kind of like an ice and electric and acid build, uh, but mostly ice and electric. What we're going to talk about now is the weapons that you're looking for and the types of upgrade stats that you're looking for on this particular run. We're doing a level 55 hazard crystalline caverns run the reason we're doing this is because a lot of people have asked me how do you get to level 55 as the scout recon on hazard 4 sounds hard it is quite hard but what we're going to show you is exactly exactly how to do that so first of all you want to have obviously the zukov you want to go for as a priority the jury rigged boomstick that's going to be your primary single target damage source and then you either want to have the m100 or the Nishanka Bolt Shark. The M100, for those of you that don't have access to the Nishanka Bolt Shark, Bolt Shark, but I will tell you, if you have got access to the Nishanka Bolt Shark, oh my God, the crossbow, then you're gonna find this a lot easier. And I like to go for the stubby or the taser as my final weapon. There are only a few really important uh, artifacts that you're looking for. The Squint EE5 and the Nitra Critical Strike artifact. BLT ration pack is always useful and definitely helps. Uh, but we're looking to scale our scout damage with critical strike. The scout has a 200% critical strike modifier. So the best way to scale dam the scout's damage into the late game is by going down a critical strike damage and critical strike chance pathway. So we're going to show you what we have. So we have on the Zukov, we have the most important thing is getting cold refrigerated gunpowder. Um, the reason we want cold and refrigerated gunpowder on the Zukov is the final overclock, the level 18 overclock, it, the Zukov spins in a circle, just shoots everything in a circle, and suddenly when you've got the cold uh, upgrade, the overclock on it, you will just freeze everything in a circle. It's insane. In terms of stats that you're looking for on the Zukov, don't worry about damage. What you're looking for is fire rate and reload speed. You want to dump the click as, uh, clip as quickly as possible, and you want to reload as quickly as possible. Uh... On the jury, I think we've missed those. So jury rig boomstick, jury rig boomstick, you want reload speed and you want damage. It actually already has quite a high fire rate. So what you're looking to do is get damage increase to increase its really high damage anyway. It's got a very high base damage. So damage percentage increase is going to be good. And then also want the reload speed because it's got quite a slow reload speed time. On the Nishanka Bolt Shark or the M100, you're looking for damage and fire rate and reload speed. All of them are great for those weapons. Uh, and so, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Because we've got the Nishanka as well, obviously any kind of um, status effect damage is going to be fantastic. And then on the Stubby, it doesn't really matter. But reload speed and fire rate are great because it's electric. So you're just looking to, you know, take advantage of the, electrics, um, the electric status effect as much as possible. And the Sidearm upgrade for the Stubby is great because it's going to increase the Jury Rig Boomstick damage by 25%. And the Nishanka Bolt Shark, all the M100s damaged by 25%, which is absolutely fantastic. So, in this run, and what's, you're, gonna, you're probably going to be mad at me. I tried this run quite a few times, probably 20 odd times. On the run that I completed it, I like forgot I was recording until stage four. So, I'm going to show you stage one to three of a run that I got to the Dreadnought with. And then I'm going to show you stage four and five of a run that I actually completed it on. So there's sli two slightly different stages, uh, two slightly different runs. It's really annoying. But what I want you to take away from it is kind of how we approach the early game with the recons, and the sort of the early waves, how we generate experience, what we're looking for. And then later on, kind of what this build looks like when you actually get it to full power. Enjoy. Oh, before I go, in terms of your general stats... You're looking for a little bit of XP gain. So you want XP gain to help get towards level 55. Pickup radius is a blessing on this. So if you can land a couple of big pickup radiuses are always good. Status effect damage, specifically critical strike damage and critical strike chance are fantastic. Um, and then any kind of defensive stats. Mining speed will massively increase your survivability. Just any of the good stats in general. Um, all of them are quite useful. But to scale this build the best, you're looking for critical strike damage. And to make sure that we hit level 55, we want XP gain and pickup radius. You obviously want a bit of armor here in there and mining speed is going to massively increase your survivability on this build so they're always going to help now we're going to jump into it and just to remind you um i'm putting in a bit of an early game from another run on that run i didn't actually find the cold augment for my zukov i found the electrical augment which is also good you can run an electrical augment but i'm mostly showing you this part of the game to show you what to do in the early game with the recon scout that first level and what you do on the start of each level is really important and that's what i'm mostly here to walk you through and then after the first round so i'm only going to show you the first round from this run we're going to go straight to round four and round five from the fully completed build to show you what it does we are going hazard four with the Recon Scout. 
Now, we've done level 55 on this a couple of times, but unfortunately, we have yet to actually complete the level. Um, so we're going to try and do that now. With, um, with Recon Scout, uh, and with Scout in general, but especially with Recon Scout, you have really, really garbage early game. Like, your, your early weapons are just useless, and you do no damage. Um, you really don't want to be using the Zukov for damage, realistically. What you want to be using this weapon for is trying to get the cold overdrive and then using it as a control weapon to create space for you to allow your other weapons to do damage. Um, I'm going to take critical chance. I know that seems really silly, but um, the best way to scale the scout's damage, because it has a 200% critical strike damage modifier, the best way to scale the scout's damage is by going for critical strike. Even though the, the HP look tasty there, um, you know, 20 HP is not going to make, it'll make one hit difference, although I am taking a bunch of damage for absolutely no reason here, which is annoying. If you take the jury rig boomstick, why am I taking that? It's going to be our main source of damage to actually deal with single targets. Um, that and hopefully the M100. We should get, I'm not going to actually cool down the um, drop ship, the drop pod just yet, or rather the, uh, the supply drop. We're going to use that to hopefully kill off an elite or two let's kill off these elites because they're going to be the biggest threats to me trying to level up 25 percent critical damage we see it we click it Got another level up here luck we are going to take that as well it's always nice to get a little bit of early luck in a run big swarm is approaching okay we are yet to complete well if we get through this if we can get through this without dying this would be good okay, we're not going to get all of the gold we got some of the gold can always circle back here later because the big boys the praetorians they tend to kill off uh areas of the map for you a lot of damage here we haven't actually collected any red sugar yet so we've got something in the back pocket should we need to heal We're saying that it's not looking too hot right now is it guys gosh let me just try and get through here loads of them this is the problem if you don't have any mining speeds you're going to feel very very claustrophobic very very quickly i have to kill this flying Masaterra. that is a magnet i will come back and get that later there's no point getting it now we haven't done yeah i haven't killed enough things and haven't got enough experience in the map i'm not going to come back here because i'll get myself boxed in at some point so i'm going to take that red sugar whilst i still can um going for the mining speed the movement speed is not a problem for me the biggest problem the biggest drawback i have at the moment is mining speed so on this level what we're looking to do is aiming to get about 100 gold and between 30 and 50 nitra um we can also aim for level 20 that would be the perfect start we've already got some good weapons to go with the weapons that we need to follow up with as i said are the uh, m100 and then we're also looking for either the taser or the stubby all are fine stubby's a stubby's pretty good actually uh we're not going to drop this just yet because we are again very interested in just trying to keep uh, everything on the map and go for experience grinding we should have some more gold up here that has been cleared like i said the praetorians are pretty good at just clearing out rubble, rubble and debris for you let's try and thin down this pack projectile everything's going to be everything will be projectile every um so we we actually don't mind if we can't get the um we actually don't mind if we can't get the experience right now because obviously we have that we know that we have the magnet over on the other side pretty good uh, increase all kinetic damage oh actually that's not what i wanted that was a bit of a waste of a level up actually it doesn't, we might keep the we might keep the jury rig as kinetic, but we could have just gone for increasing the damage of the weapon. So a bit silly of me, really. Uh, I might get the. I'm probably not going to come back over this way again, so I might take this now. Let's go for fire rate. Projectile weapons fire rate. Reload speed. That's pretty good. Level fourteen. I really want to get level twenty though. So. We'll see if we can go any further. Right, what we can do is there's a, actually some really nice things. What we can do now is actually try and drop the pod 
down because we're going to kill the Masatera pretty soon anyway. So again, get the Masatera a little bit closer. And we're now going to try and drop the pod on its head and a number of other things heads. Um, I don't like any of these. I would like to get the stubby. That's fine. Now we just need the M100 as our final. Yes, we've got squint eyes. That's really nice. We just now need to survive. 15 is okay. We'll see if we can grab some extra experience by blowing things up on the way. That is a lot. Critical strike chance is really nice as well. Um, I think we're just going to have to accept that this is going to be our lot. Level 17. Fire rate. Yeah, do you know what? I, I'll take that as a first a first level. Not perfect. Not not the worst. Okay, so just double checking that we're still going. Pickup radius is really nice. So we can oh gosh, what have I done to the um screen? You guys can still see that? You guys can still see that, right? Um pickup radius is nice. Damage we don't really care about. So we're gonna re-roll. Paint job is not great for that. Mining speed is great. Reload speed is really good. 25% reload speed. I'm gonna go for 25% fire rate and 25% reload speed. I'm gonna take the movement speed here as well. Reload speed on that. And yeah, honestly quite happy with that. Gosh, there are loot bugs all over the place here. Let's try and claim them as quickly as possible. So you do you do this at the start of every level, you just really need to focus on kind of digging down and grabbing as many resources as you can. That includes loot bugs, they're a good, good source of resource. We have a bit of mining speed now, which is going to really help. This is also an Apoca Bloom level, which I love. They're the easiest side quests to complete. So I actually think we're in a good spot so far. The reason being is that we have one of the best, the Squint EE5. Um, we have one of the, they're just really good. They're just one of the best, um, in my opinion, in terms of, uh, just increasing the scout's late game potential. 100% critical strike damage. You just lose a little bit of damage overall, but it's just so good for the scout if you can get that critical strike chance up because you can just massively increase your DPS. Especially with the jury rig, the stubby. Like, we're, we're in a pretty good spot. I'm going to try and just explode some stuff here just to give myself a bit of space. That's a really nice explode, but I didn't really need the sugar. But it will stay on the fourth one when we do need it. I don't really care about fire rate, but I do want to try and get this thing slightly higher. You see, the biggest thing the biggest thing that holds the jury ring back is its uh, is its uh, reload speed. A very slow reload speed, so we need to kind of make sure that we're getting reload speed increases. We also want to get experience gain increases if we want to go for level 55. Not quite on track for level 55 just yet. I probably have to come back around and do that now. Level up, increase kinetic damage, reload speed, even if it's common, still good and worth having. I have found mini old puck of blooms. Oh, I have actually I found four out of six. One over there. Really hoping that I can get cryo damage as an option for my main weapon, my Voltac, Volcat, whatever it's called. Um, that's going to be one of the real important points for the late game in this game. We have, uh, have we backed ourselves into a corner here? We're going to have to dig, we're going to have to dig our way out. We're digging a little uh, tower defense tunnel. It didn't last very long, but it did get us out of a tricky situation. And into some nitro. Again, we're going to go for a little tower defense tower down here. 25% damage. Uh, electrical. Increase the range of your protect projectiles. I like electrical. It works really well with the stubby. Nice. Also nice. Level up. Uh, I'm going to go for the reload speed on the stubby. And we're going to mine all of this nitro in one go, which is great. Loads of gold to mine here as well. Need to get rid of this thing. Might have to come round again for the gold. Oh, I took a lot of damage there. I did not 
want to take that much damage. Yeah. Right. We do know that we've got some red sugar at the top. We've got loads of nitra. Quite a bit of gold. We've actually got a little good amount of resources. We know that we've got a red sugar at the top over here. Here we go. Yeah. We killed this earlier and we didn't need it. We also picked up some nitra. And some cropper. We need to deal with getting this. We have now unlocked it. I don't want to take it just yet. Because I want to try and farm as much experience as I can. Like, ideally, level 30 would be a really great comeback point for me on this level. We just need to um, just go and get some space to try and use these exploders to our advantage. Uh, I think we might just do one more loop, see how much experience we can get on that loop. A lot of buggies. I'm a new dwarf. That was that was definitely was quite risky to do that. It's okay. We haven't again. There's no real good central area. What you really want with a big pack of this is that you want a big central area that you can run them around the in a in sort of a circle. I don't really have that on this level, which is a bit of a pain. I might have to go straight to the um, the drop. That's what I'm going to do. Like I said, we don't really have a great location to run this pack around and use the exploders to our advantage. So we are just going to have to do, make do with what we've got and maybe just say, I'm not going to hit level 30 on level 2 here. Oh, it's fine. Um, so we want this, this tripod... Not going to help us just yet, but it's going to help us down the line. Level 24 is okay. I'd really love to get to level 25, actually, if I can. But uh, unfortunately, it's just not a good level setup to go any further. I didn't actually get the experience that I wanted there. That's fine. Mining speed. Reload speed. Reroll. Reload speed. Fire rate. Paint job is actually pretty good. Just for what I want to do with it. Um, God, there's nothing there. We'll project our weapons. Fire rate increases. The reason we want fire rate and reload speed... Is as I mentioned down the line, Zukov is going to be primarily like a. The best way I can describe it is like a utility weapon. It's going to be just freezing stuff whilst our big boys actually do the damage, and our big boys being the jury rig and hopefully the M100. Okay. So the same thing we want to do again. We've got a more kite level, so it's even more important that we just try and get this done as early as possible into the level. Um. I'm really not happy. Um, because I can't re-roll this. So I think I'm going to have to go for a projectile weapon. It's just whether I ever go for the Sabata or the Burst Fire Gun. I'm probably going to have to go for the Burst Fire Gun. But, um... Yeah, we're going to have to rely on the jury rig to do the majority of our damage here then. At least we've got projectile weapons, so projectile damage is going to be good. But um, this is not really what I wanted. Salvageable, though, maybe. Really wanted the M100, though. Nice. Come back over here. Uh, this is... I'm not... I mean, I should have a lot more luck than this. I feel like I'm getting screwed on luck this run. Although we have got a good art, uh, an artifact, so we can't really complain too much about the artifact. Okay, going to clear this out. Oh, 
did not mean to run into that. I need some red sugar, really. Oh, for God's sake. This will only make me stronger. Try again. What upgrade can we actually get? HP, fair enough. Right. Hazard 4 Scout Recon. We're going for the level 55. And we are going to try and complete Hazard 4 with Scout, which can be quite difficult. Um, but we have a build that I think works quite well. Uh, and we're going to run through it well, if we get the up option to do it. I'll kind of talk you through it as we go. Reload speed. Beautiful. We want to spend the start of the game just farming for as many resources as we can. The scouts... So the, the Zukov is a really, really terrible weapon um, until later on into the game where it doesn't really serve as major damage source. It mostly serves as a control weapon. Level up here. This is absolutely garbage but i'm gonna take the critical strike chance that was a really terrible terrible level up i hope this is uh not how this run is going to go for me okay, so we also have one of the worst rngs for the veteran em enemy spawns because uh if it's a mass of terror like it is here it makes it makes it very difficult for you to complete mining because it will chase you down like this Reload speed. I'm going to take it. I'm going to hopefully get my more kite. See, I just took so much damage there. I'm going to have to get myself some red sugar. But yeah, the mass terror is one of the worst. Dodged at least that one. You have to take a few risks. There's no point playing super safe in the early game. Because you can always just restart if it isn't that good. Okay, so we want the, the jury rig boomstick is going to be our main source of sort of dealing damage to uh, close range threats like the Dreadnought later on into the game. Um, you can take some damage on it. So you want to stack damage and reload speed really. You don't really care about fire rate to an extent. Can we get rid of this? Well, going to go for Nitra. I don't care about fire rate, nor do I really care about damage, but I'll take damage. So damage is better on jury rig. Fire rate, it's already quite quick firing. So the firing rate doesn't really offer you too much on the jury rig. You really want um, reload speed and you want damage. It's there to be a big beefy boy that these deals damage to a target that the rest of your weapons can do nothing to. So you're really looking for sort of a, a spread of, of arsenal on this map you want um, on this character. You want to have the jury rig damage. And you want to have the Zerkov as the sort of control weapon. Then you want the M100 to back up the jury rig. So you've got two pretty good high damage um, weapons. That's really nice. So really nice. You've got two quite nice high damage weapons. And then you've also then got a control weapon. Hopefully we get Cryo as a overdrive upgrade on the Zukov. And then we kind of just have a flex weapon spot. So that weapon spot can kind of go to whatever you feel like. I quite like the taser. Um, it could also just go to a stubby. Stubby's pretty good as well. Provide a bit of electrical damage. Okay, I have... I thought this connected upwards. It doesn't. So now I'm going to have to run around. But actually, I don't really mind this. This is a pretty good location to kind of kite these guys around. We've got quite a lot of... Um, the resources that we need. We've got a lot of gold. We don't have a great amount of nitra. I'm not going to hopefully not pick up that um, firing rate. So with the Zukov, we don't really care about damage on the Zukov. We want firing rate and we want uh, reload speed. Because it is going to be mostly used as a control weapon later. I don't know why I bought that. So there we go. We've got change your damage to cold which is exactly what we need to make this run viable in the long run. If you don't get cold, this run is not super viable. I don't really want to pick up the um, damage. I could have gone for the experience gain there. That probably would have worked as well. I'm going to take it. Not ideal. 
Let's be one level at least. I'll take the experience gain off the top of that and the fire rate. Got level 15. We have the M100. This is brilliant. This is exactly what we need. Let's now clear this out. Really annoying that it wasn't cleared out already. That was a really, really nice. Um, I had to take Red Sugar Cube, but it's quite honestly not what I wanted. Epic reload speed. Really nice. 17. Nice. Lootberg. We're just going to slowly walk our way over. Oh my god, there's loads of experience up there. I think I can do this. I think I can do this. Mining speed. This is greedy as all hell. I'm going to the drop pod. Fire rate. Wait, did I take... Oh, did I make... Wait a second. Did I make the jury rig cold? I did. What does salvage mean? Ah. Overclock. Okay. I've never used the salvage button before. Wait, what's happened? What happened here? I feel like I, just, I feel like I just saw a bug there. Oh, legendary status effect damage increases all damage over time from electrical fire. Yeah, projectile weapons fire rate is really good though. Reload speed is really nice. Let me try again. Reload speed, experience gain, and fire rate. That's actually really nice overall. I need to find cold for the Zukov. Zukov needs cold damage, otherwise it's just... I think I might have accidentally given Jury Rig cold damage, but that's fine. Um, not ideal, but <laughs> it's okay. I thought it was the Zukov, but uh, I gave it to the Jury Rig instead. You kind of don't want to give the Jury Rig... Well, you don't, it doesn't matter if you give the Jury Rig cold. Um, it's just that you kind of probably miss out on an overdrive up option that's much better. Right. This level's notoriously hard for trying to farm anything on especially when we've got more kite because you're going to get a swarm in just a minute but we've got one big hold more kite we managed to get it all done good here we um we need to get a dodge in can we get a dodge anyone there we go there's a dodge that's what this character is good for if you can just get one dodge you can usually get away from pretty much everything uh, while I'm down here, I'm going to try and get this farmed. We're going to try and do a circular pattern and farm everything. We'll be a little bit lucky if we can do that. Reload speed, really nice. I need to get the Zerkov to level 18 because it's kind of the... Getting that to the 18 and getting it with cold damage is kind of the linchpin of this entire build. If you don't get it, it can be very difficult to come back from. I'm going to... Struggling a little bit here. That's Okay. I'm going to go take this more kite because it's right on the edge. I should get enough more kite from this to get myself over the line, which we did. Now we just need to go and find somewhere good to kill off the pack or mine some more nitro, actually. Speaking of that, because we, uh, we do not have a lot of nitro. Oh, I took so much damage there. Not ideal. Okay. These little bugs are really annoying. Okay. 113 gold is okay. I'm going to go down here. Just got to deal with the buggies. even go for that nitro i'm gonna go for the status effect damage though because we're gonna go hopefully get fire from the m100 and then we're gonna well we could go i mean we could have maybe gone electrical actually on the zukov but it's not really the same okay 
it's going to explode after it. Um, Oop, did not mean to get tagged by that. A lot of um I need to do one little round trip. We would really ideally love to get about level let's say thirty on this, but at least level twenty five to get our final weapon. A load of experience here though. Great. Um fire rate. really good don't, I think the max HP in this case I don't really care about fire rate on the jury rate hit the fire rate there got to level 24 definitely think we've got a good little pathway going okay so none of these are, uh, this is this is actually okay um, I actually might do that. That gives us some status effect damage. Got a lot of uh, acid going on there. You know what? I'm quite happy to kind of cool in the cool in the cavalry on this one. Increase your dodge chance when taking damage. That's kind of exactly what I wanted. Fire rate, and we can go to fire. We don't care about knockback because we're going to freeze them. And we maybe get a load more experience here. Reload speed. Gosh, we have cleared out the build of the pack. I'll take the mining speed. I'll take the fire rate. Oh my gosh, we have got so much experience here. Fire rate, even though I don't really need, don't really need it on the jury. I don't know why I took it. Reload speed. Let's just hope my second overclock is a bit better. Level up here. 32. Please give me cryo damage. Ah, I didn't get cryo damage. Um, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Should have gone for electrical, though. Didn't get cryo damage, but we should have gone for electrical. Increase all projectile damage. That sounds really nice. Um, pick up radius. Roll. And then I think I'm just going to... Right, I hope I gave you a good indication of what the early game is supposed to look like, even though that wasn't from the run that you're about to see. We're now going to skip over to the level 4 and level 5 of the run that I did complete. Um, really silly, just didn't record the start of it, I'm so sorry. But obviously I can't teleport to level 4, so you can see that I've managed to get this build to this point, and I want to show you the end game power of the build, even though the one that you just watched didn't have the Bolt Shark in it. It still had a pretty good setup with the Jury Rig Boomstick. Your main, your main point of call is going to be getting the Cold Augment on your Zukov and getting the Jury Rig Boomstick. Everything else is kind of surplus to requirements after that anyway let's jump in hope you guys enjoy the final part of this run um and that is where we're at with this build uh, once we overclock the final overclock on our um zukov it's we're gonna be we're gonna be popping off okay Doing a lot of damage, but I actually do need to go and find some resources. Uh, what? Are, uh, I'm actually going to take armor. Uh, what? What have I got? I've got um, gold tip bullets, so um, that'll be useful on the final level where we just want to farm some gold. I don't even know what my uh, my quest is here. It's uh, alpaca bloom. Okay. Uh, we're going for the gold. I am actually mortified that. I really, really can't afford to fumble this. We've This is one of the best runs we've had in a very long time. Just the right weapons, you know. The right weapons, which is exactly what we wanted. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Nice, nice. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, I guess fire rate. 
I need to just play. I need to play a bit safer. I really can't afford to fumble this run. This is a god tier run, and I do not want to mess up that. We need to get some red sugar from somewhere. The worst thing you can do is get cocky with boomers. Uh, and I don't mean the people. I mean the exploding buggies. The worst thing you can do is get cocky with them. Think that you can outrun their damage and then they end up just blowing you up for all of your HP. Uh, we are... We're fine. We're fine. I thought we were in a... Thought we were in a rough spot. We're not. We're out. Too much crap in the way. Supply beacon. We're going to go get that basically ASAP. We don't really need the supply beacon to kill the elite anymore. Because we are in a good spot. This. 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 We're actually just going to take it straight away. Just see if we get something good. Uh, dodge rate when taking damage. It's the uh, best thing I could hope for here. Uh, I'm going to go for luck. Because, oh, that's nice. You need to um, not get cornered here. We want to go for like, because well, we're on level 4, we, we, we do ideally want to go for like level... Um, we do ideally want to go for level um I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go for weapon range or reload speed and clip size. I'm gonna go for hundred percent clip size. We um We ideally wanna hit level fifty. Hopefully like higher than fifty. Like the the best see that I don't wanna get cocky with the yeah, the explosions. The explosions can really screw you over. Um if I can get above fifty, oh my god, it's so many explosions. If I can get above 50, that would be ideal. Um, we want to overclock our primary weapon, uh, which I can do now. And you guys are going to see what I mean with the spiraling wheel of freezing. It just makes everything so much easier to navigate. Even these guys, they, um, they, they freeze when they are... Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what's going to happen here? Um, 15% damage. Oh my gosh. Uh, critical chance. Whoa. Damage. Um, oh my gosh. What on earth is going on? Critical chance. Bloody hell. This is insane. We have had the most insane uh, run ever. And if I don't beat the Dreadnought, I am extremely upset. Yeah, I'm just gonna get my. I'm just gonna get myself. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play anything stupid here. I'm just gonna get myself onto this dread. This dropship. Um, I'm gonna take the fire rate for that. Um, I'm going to take the epic luck. Fire rate. Fire rate. Luck. We actually want to farm gold because um, it's going to give us damage. So there is a reason to farm gold still. But um, do you know what, guys? Let's go to town. Let's get this Dreadnought down. We aren't level 55 yet, so we do want to hit level 55 before we kill the Dreadnought. <laughs> but look how much damage we're doing to these... Um, oh my god, the jury rig. It's so insane. Bonk, bonk. We are just destroying these elites. Um, yeah, we do want to hit 55 before we kill the Dreadnought because that is the point of this run, is to hit 55. Okay, we want to get some gold. Like, just getting gold increases our damage because one of the um, the artifacts that we've got does that. Just watch this. Oh, it's disgusting. It's just, just like, I have, I've never felt so powerful before on that many builds. This is just absolutely insane. Critical chance. We, what is our critical chance right now? 79%. That is kind of nutty. 79% critical chance. Gosh, we are just... Look at this, guys. Just stand in front of it. Can't get to us. Bonk. 
We have killed every single elite before we've even got to the first drop pod. I'm not going to take the Dreadnought on. I'm going to play it super safe. I'm not going to take the Dreadnought on until I've got to the drop pod. But oh my god, look at this. Absolutely insane. I have never felt this powerful before. This is crazy. Come on, let's get 55. Let's just get 55, guys. Let's get 55. We've hit 55 at that point. Let's clear the um, landing zone out. Hmm. Okay. Damage. I'm going to go for full chance to find gold, which is great. Yeah, look at the damage we're doing to this, guys. This is this is the run. We've finally done it. It took us forever. We've finally done it. Well done, team. Boom. Now we should get out. Hazard level 4, level 55, Scout. This was the setup. We dealt an unbelievable amount of electric damage, but we had nice acid damage, we had cold damage, we had a little bit of kinetic. And this is the run. Boom, we did it. That is sick. This is an unbelievably cool build. Really, really good. And I hope you guys give it a go and enjoy it. Uh, if you enjoyed, please feel free to subscribe. That would be awesome. I'll see you soon.